hardly needs an escort. She's there leading the pack, making things happen, and has been so instrumental in the success of not only this project, but all of our activities here in southeastern Michigan. And uh, Susan's going to make a few introductions for us today, but uh, with that, uh, I want to make really, I'm fortunate to be able to start things off and say, Susan, congratulations, you've really made so much of this happen, and thank you very much. Of other really important people. Um, this project, for I'm going to give a little bit of history because I certainly can't assume everybody here knows it. So this is part of the was part of the Hazel Track um, Raceway site. It had previously been an industrial landfill way before the current owners owned the property, which made the site itself really challenging to build on. The condition of the, the soil was poor and it was very, very expensive and frankly without the help of the MEDC and the MDEQ and helping us level the playing field between building on this brownfield site and building on a greenfield site, the building wouldn't be here to today. So a lot of work went into um, coordinating with the city of Hazel Park and the state agencies to do what brownfield legislation really is um, at its best doing and creating a wonderful new uh, place for employment and commerce on what had been a completely unusable site. So this, you're standing in a 575,000 square foot state-of-the-art industrial facility. Uh, the leasing uh, has been going very well. I'm going to let uh, the city people talk about the new uh, corporate citizens that they have here in Hazel Park. But I welcome you today. I thank you all for being here. You all have a part to play in this. You've been important in some way to this project. Um, I want to thank Oliver Hatcher Construction who built the building. They have done a great job and they're not done yet. There's Paul Hatcher and I think I saw Paul, Paul oh, here. Oliver here. Yeah. So uh, they've been, been here and they do all of our projects. So um, and with that I'll let Paul make an introduction. Uh, and also in, in addition to uh, uh, the people that are here, we're fortunate to have our partners in this uh, transaction. The uh, Goldbergs, Mr. Hartman, we thank you for your support, the, uh, your ability to help make this happen. Uh, as I said, projects like this where we represent the uh, private sector uh, are more and more, we see uh, in the real estate business, uh, represent a partnership not just between individuals, but a public-private partnership. So it includes uh, people at the municipal, state uh, level that are providing lots of support to us, and uh, they're the ones who ultimately help solve certain problems, help lead the way in certain other areas, uh, and are more than uh, uh, ready to have the private sector do what we do best. Uh, so with that, I want to introduce uh, Ed Klobuchar and Jeff Campbell, uh, two of our local people, and have the two of you come up uh, and uh, make a couple of comments. Yeah, For those of you who don't know me, my name is Ed Klobuchar and I have the distinct honor and privilege of serving as the city manager for the city of Hazel Park. I'm joined up here today by my uh, wonderful partner and assistant city manager, uh, Jeff Campbell, who was instrumental in making this happen. I want to say that it was a pleasure to deal with Ashley Capital. They are a high quality company and they did uh, an outstanding job of bringing this whole project together. Susan Harvey, fantastic to work with. Everybody here just been fantastic. I also want to recognize the uh, ownership of the Hazel Park Racetrack. Mr. Hartman is here. Uh, he's a pleasure to work with as well as Danny Atkins and the rest of the team there. Thank you so much for being uh, a part of our city for so long and helping this project happen as well. I'm joined here by my mayor, uh, Jeff Keaton. Come on up here because we're going to have you cut something in a minute, as well as uh, city council persons Bethany Holland, Andy LaCuro, Mayor Pro Tem Mudda, Mayor Jeff Boyd, Magistrate James Patterson, uh, Oakland County Treasurer Andy Meisner, Kyle Pollock from Sandy Levin's office, and Stacey Bowerman from the MEDC. Did I get Andy LaCuro too, as well, from the council? 
Uh, thank you all for being here as well. And uh, again, this is an exciting project for Hazel Park. It's an exciting project for Oakland County, and it's an exciting project for the entire metropolitan uh, Detroit region. And we have some outstanding tenants that are going to be uh, occupying this facility, and I will turn it over to Jeff Campbell, who will make that announcement. Uh, I just want to briefly thank, too, uh, who couldn't, I couldn't have done this without uh, Brad Hampton from uh, the business uh, representative from Oakland County, too, who was instrumental in some of the environmental stuff. Uh, that Oakland County contributed to this as well. Uh, the county was instrumental in helping us as well. Uh, I just wanted uh, to uh, also recognize the Chamber of Commerce members that are here, Carrie, the President, and other Chamber members that are here. Thank you so much for coming. And what a pleasure it was to work with Susan, Kevin, Mike, uh, Ken, all you guys. Uh, it, was, it was a real pleasure to get this off the ground and we're so proud of it. And we're so proud to announce that Bridgewater uh, an auto uh, manufacturer of component parts that will be doing light assembly will be located here, as well as Amazon will be a member of the uh, a tenant here at this facility, which is an incredible uh, thing for Hazel Park, and so excited. And we're, uh, according to Susan, we're getting we're getting close on another tenant that could fill up the rest of the building. Um, and once we have that locked in, we'll announce that too. But until that time, uh, we're just close at that at this point. And uh, again, it's been such an honor, and we're so excited by these tenants, uh, the, the jobs that will come, the technology that's gonna be here, and what a great thing this is for Hazel Park, and a multiplier for other businesses in our community, as well as hopefully a rise in all values throughout the community. Uh, so if we could have Mayor Keaton and, and everybody else wants to cut the ribbon. Let's cut a ribbon. Get in there, get in there. Get in there. Are we close? Yeah. Here we go. Whoa! Yeah.